Hi guys, Tim from Timberline Vans. Want to show you a wrap video here on a 2015 GMC Savannah 3500. We were just wrapping up. This is a uh, extended body window van with just 59,000 original miles on it. Has a six liter V8 and it's been re-geared to 373s with the limited slip in the back. So this van started out as a conventional window van. It was brought to us and we did a four wheel drive conversion on it as well as a full build out. This van has a 30 inch fiberine super camper top on it um, and basically everything around it has been built uh, custom so it features our custom front bumper rear bumper uh, full-size box there we built a roof rack for it and a custom ladder the roof is perforated so you can walk on it um, has 200 watts of solar up on the on the roof and our, uh, our little slider windows there we have extensive lighting done all the way around with spotlights and scene lights. Up front we've got uh, deer lights that point out towards the side of the road and we've got both amber and fog lights. And we also have a helper here today. <laughs> so uh, van has a little vinyl worked up, up in the front. Uh, features a 12,000 pound worn winch and what else have we got here? So. 33-inch um, tires on this guy, got some new running boards, our fender flares, uh, we did a Fiamma awning, this is a power awning with the LED light rail there. And we also did, this van obviously has a sliding door, so we did a custom um, sliding door extension for this unit here to clear the large back tires. Um, these will be available on our site for sale as well. So uh, doors open all the way in the back, the uh, bumpers pivot. Uh, completely out so um, lots of room there we've got a couple of roto packs and a little ring around the top for additional fuel if needed backup camera cell phone booster all that stuff so Sven has a uh, has our five inch lift underneath this is a torsion bar design uh, standard CV axles over-the-counter brakes and CV axles. Try to keep his uh, stuff as as uh, serviceable as possible and use as many over-the-counter parts as, as we can. We've got our 261 transfer case. That's a manual shift key case with automatic locking hubs and a custom leaf pack appropriate for the weight of this vehicle in the back. One thing we did get to do that's kind of fun on this, we did a um, an auxiliary fuel tank up underneath the back here. It's about 22 gallons. And that unit uh, can be shifted on the fly so um, over 50 gallons of fuel capacity in this rig and can be uh, changed while going down the road. Retains the factory fuel gauge and works as normal. So pretty cool setup. We've got about a, I think it's an eight gallon propane tank up underneath there. And um, there is propane for both the um, outdoor shower at the back of the van, as well as for cooking. So yeah, um, interior of this van is, is very well done um, to sort of accommodate just a whole bunch of different things. Uh, it can be kind of uh, converted to sleep different amounts of people and I'll go over that with you. And we've got our galley set up here, our uh, manuals and everything, um, just where we put them for now. It's a little pull out tray for our, our uh, propane, which can be our propane grill, which can be used up on the top um, or be moved down here. Um, here's our, our line for that. Have a quick disconnect on that. We've got uh, 110 outlets kind of throughout the van. I'll show you there's a uh, 3000 watt power inverter charger in it. Um, we have, yeah, we can go ahead and hop open here. Oh, one other little thing here I can show you. A uh, cool thing about this van, uh, refrigerator can be accessed from either side. So if you're outside the van camping, you can flip it up this way. And then likewise, if you're inside the vehicle, it can be flipped up the other, the other way. This is a fridge freezer. Yeah, so like I said, van can be kind of set up in uh, different fashions to sleep or or um, or have you know multiple different people in the vehicle. We have these removable slats here that uh, sit in this this rail here all the way around, kind of similar to how you'll see Sportsmobile do theirs um, with the um, the pop tops. But obviously, this one is a high top. Tons of room inside to stand up in. We have our loft bed up here right now uh, for the kiddos, or you can sleep larger folk as well. 
And then uh, the same can be done up here too to actually fully enclose the whole top area uh, and between the, um, the length of the, the van on the inside and the additional bed down below, you can sleep up to, I suppose, maybe up to six people, <laughs> which would be a lot. Um, this is uh, a, uh, the normal bed size down here. It's about roughly queen size. Right now I have it set up uh, as more of a bench so that back section flips up. And then um, this is all memory foam. The um, way this is set up, there is a pull-out slider here. Uh, for the additional cushion that can sit on here so you can sleep long ways. It's uh, about six foot five of overall sleeping length. And then we have little LED lights throughout. Um, these guys here and we've got our little um, map lights that also feature USB ports on each of those. There's uh, two down here and two up above. Um, additional lighting here. We have our uh, all uh, birch cabinetry here, um, Baltic birch, and we've got uh, CNC cuts on everything to try to keep the weight down as much as possible. Um, this stuff was all done by Overland Interiors, and they do just a really fantastic job. We've got our little Wabasto heater up underneath, our Xantrex inverter charger, and this guy here with the remote. And a little space for the doggies. Uh, the grass here is just, uh, just for effect, can be removed. It's not glued down or anything like that. Um, there's our controls for the fan and heater. We have a, kind of our utility cabinet here with all the electrical inside, uh, all labeled for easy access. Um, some drawers and our uh, 200 amp hour battery up underneath there. That is a heated energy unit. Um, pull out tray here. Uh, controls for water pump and additional uh, 110 outlets and so forth here. We've got our little um, stove unit and chamois in there. And then uh, the seat here is uh, for your third passenger if you need it. It can also be swiveled uh, to be outward. We have uh, a post mount um, table stanchion there. Which this guy here which can uh, fit in there so you can work out of this uh, chair like a desk. Well, USB ports there, and up front, pretty standard issue stuff. All of our uh, lights are labeled and switched for um, fuel tank swap. So we've got uh, LED dimmable lighting throughout. Uh, really nice. We've got kind of a galley light here, and then our um, sink, obviously, with the, um, the swivel head that can be pivoted so you can reach it from the outside. This fan has a... I think it's a 13 gallon water tank that sits up underneath here. Quick disconnects for that for uh, filling and draining. And then out in the back here, we won't get too much into it, but we've got our uh, Echo Temp outdoor shower and a shower line that can be pulled across um, to hang a plastic sheet for privacy. Yeah, that's kind of the basic setup. Um, ton of work gone into this, fully insulated, fully sound deadening. Van runs and drives excellent. We've put about 1,500 miles on it since the conversion. So our helper. Hello, helper. Very little that hasn't been done on this van. Um, definitely came out super nice. Very happy with the design. And uh, if you have any questions or are interested, give us a shout. Thank you and have a nice day.